Denial. Denial happens when a person refuses to accept reality or facts, blocking external events from awareness. It is a way to protect oneself from uncomfortable truths by acting as if they do not exist. Repression. Repression is an unconscious mechanism where distressing thoughts, memories, or impulses are pushed out of awareness. Unlike denial, repression doesn't just ignore reality, it buries it. Projection. Projection occurs when someone attributes their own unacceptable thoughts, feelings, or impulses to someone else. Instead of recognizing one's own flaws, they see them in others. Displacement. Displacement happens when emotions, especially anger or frustration, are redirected from the actual source to a safer, less threatening target. Kicking a chair after an argument with a boss is a classic example. Sublimation. Sublimation transforms socially unacceptable impulses into constructive, socially approved behaviors. For instance, aggressive urges might be channeled into sports or artistic expression. Reaction formation. This defense mechanism occurs when a person behaves in a way that is opposite to their actual feelings. If someone dislikes a coworker but acts overly friendly toward them, that's reaction formation at play. Rationalization. Rationalization involves justifying problematic behaviors or feelings with logical sounding but false reasons. A student who fails an exam might blame the test for being unfair rather than admitting a lack of preparation. Intellectualization. This mechanism involves removing emotion from a stressful situation and instead focusing purely on logic or facts. Instead of grieving a loss, a person might analyze medical reports or funeral costs. Regression. Regression is the act of reverting to an earlier stage of development when faced with stress. An adult throwing a tantrum or a college student seeking comfort from childhood stuffed animals are examples. Undoing. Undoing is an attempt to erase a distressing thought or behavior by engaging in the opposite behavior. Someone who insults a friend might later shower them with compliments to cancel out their mistake. Identification. Identification occurs when a person unconsciously adopts the behaviors, traits, or attitudes of someone they admire or fear. A bullied child might start dressing or speaking like their aggressor. Compensation. This mechanism involves overachieving in one area to make up for perceived weaknesses in another. A student who struggles academically might become a star athlete to balance their self-esteem. Fantasy. Fantasy is using imagination to escape reality, often as a way to cope with stress. Someone unhappy with their job might daydream about becoming a famous artist instead of making real changes. Compartmentalization. Compartmentalization allows a person to separate conflicting thoughts or feelings into different categories, preventing them from clashing. A doctor might emotionally detach from patients to avoid burnout. Dissociation. Dissociation involves a temporary detachment from reality, often in response to trauma. Someone might zone out or feel as if they are watching themselves from the outside. Avoidance. Avoidance is the act of steering clear of people, situations, or topics that cause distress. Rather than dealing with financial issues, someone might distract themselves with constant entertainment. Passive aggression. Passive aggression occurs when a person expresses their anger or frustration indirectly rather than addressing the issue openly. This could include sarcasm, procrastination, or subtle resistance. Self-serving bias. This defense mechanism allows people to attribute successes to their own abilities while blaming external factors for failures. It preserves self-esteem by avoiding personal responsibility. Minimization. Minimization downplays the significance of one's actions or emotions. Someone might excuse unhealthy behaviors by saying, it's not that bad or everyone does it. Devaluation. The opposite of idealization. Devaluation occurs when a person perceives someone or something as completely worthless after initially valuing them highly. This shift often follows disappointment or rejection. Isolation of effect. This mechanism separates emotion from thoughts or memories. A person who experiences trauma might describe it in a detached, emotionless manner as a way to cope. Trivialization. Trivialization occurs when someone convinces themselves that an issue isn't important in order to avoid confronting it. A student who fails a test might say, it doesn't matter, it was just one test. Splitting. 
Splitting is an all or nothing way of thinking where someone sees people or situations as entirely good or entirely bad. A person might idolize a friend one day and see them as an enemy the next. Somatization. Somatization is when psychological stress is unconsciously converted into physical symptoms, such as headaches, stomach aches, or fatigue, without any medical cause. Interjection. Interjection happens when someone unconsciously absorbs the beliefs or attitudes of others as their own. A child might adopt a parent's prejudices without realizing it. Altruism. Altruism is a mature defense mechanism where a person deals with stress by helping others. Volunteering after a personal loss is an example of turning pain into purpose. Substitution. Substitution is replacing an unattainable goal or desire with something more achievable. If a person fails to become a professional athlete, they might become a sports coach instead. Symbolization. Symbolization occurs when unconscious conflicts or emotions are expressed through symbols or metaphors. A person might repeatedly dream of locked doors, symbolizing repressed fears. Withdrawal. Withdrawal is the act of removing oneself from a situation to avoid pain, confrontation, or discomfort. This can manifest as social isolation, emotional detachment, or excessive escapism. Overcompensation. Overcompensation happens when someone exaggerates a strength to cover up a weakness. A shy person might act overly confident in social settings to mask their insecurity. Deflection. Deflection is shifting attention away from oneself onto another person or topic to avoid dealing with personal issues. A person might turn every conversation into a joke when feeling anxious. Counterphobia. Counterphobia is when someone deliberately seeks out situations that cause them fear as a way to gain control. A person afraid of heights might become a skydiver to counteract their fear. Maladaptive daydreaming. This involves excessive and immersive fantasy life that interferes with daily functioning. It can be a way to escape from real-world stressors or unmet emotional needs. Conversion. Conversion is when emotional distress is converted into physical symptoms with no medical explanation, such as temporary blindness or paralysis after witnessing trauma. Identification with the aggressor. This happens when someone adopts the traits or behaviors of a person who has harmed them. A victim of bullying might start bullying others as a defense mechanism. Escape into work. This occurs when a person immerses themselves in work or a particular activity to avoid dealing with emotional issues. It could be a socially acceptable form of avoidance. Fantasy reenactment. This defense mechanism involves recreating past traumas in relationships or behaviors, often unconsciously, as a way to process unresolved emotions. Fixation. Fixation happens when a person gets stuck in a particular stage of emotional development due to unresolved conflicts, leading to persistent immature behaviors. Somnolence as a defense. Some people cope with stress by sleeping excessively using sleep as a form of escape from reality rather than addressing problems. Nostalgic regression. This occurs when someone idealizes the past as a way to cope with current difficulties, believing things were better back then to avoid facing present challenges. Repetition compulsion. A person repeatedly engages in behaviors that mirror past traumas, often unconsciously in an attempt to gain mastery over them. Objectification. This mechanism reduces people to objects or categories to avoid emotional involvement. A person might refer to a romantic partner in purely physical terms to avoid intimacy. Survival mechanisms. Some extreme defense mechanisms, like Stockholm Syndrome, develop as survival strategies, where a person forms positive bonds with those who harm them. 